let us now talk about available energy now the sources of energy they can be divided up into two groups the first group is high grade energy and we will abbreviate it for the rest of the topic is as hge all right and low grade energy and for low grade energy i will use the abbreviation of lge now the conversion of hge to lge that is from high grade to low grade okay uh, the limitations of the second law they are not applicable so the conversion of going from high grade to low grade it is exempt from second law equation exempt from second law limitations okay because second law puts a uh, directional limitation of the you can say uh, the the proceeding of a particular process okay but if you talk about the you know going from low grade to high grade energy it is actually sub, you know subject to the second law limitation so this is subject to the second law limitations okay so this this is something that we have discussed in the or in an earlier video as well because that is the complete conversion of high grade to low grade energy is possible but the complete conversion in the vice versa direction that is from low grade to high grade energy is not completely possible okay and before we move forward let, let us look at some examples of the two groups okay so for high grade energy let me use these arrows to iterate these uh, various examples the the first example is uh, if you have mechanical work if you have mechanical work then you can classify it as a high grade energy or you can, this is also i can say if you have shaft work if you have some uh, piston which is creating some mechanical work me mechanical work that is all uh, taken under this particular category next we have electrical energy electrical energy so this is also a form of a high grade energy okay next you can say water power water power is also or you can say hydraulic power it is also a high grade energy then wind power this is also high grade energy next you can say tidal power so these are some very commonly utilized or you know used or seen high grade energy sources right and if you talk about uh, low grade energy sources then it is heat the very common one is heat or sometimes it is also known as thermal energy okay next one the next example you can say that uh, the heat that is taken from nuclear fission or fusion heat from nuclear fission or fusion fission or fusion all right next you can say heat that is derived from combustion of fossil fuel so whatever heat that you get from the combustion of a petrol or from diesel inside a you know ice engine that is again a source of low grade energy okay so i can say that heat from fossil fuel combustion fossil fuel combustion okay so this is uh, you know a very generalized statement that i'm going to make is that is all forms of heat can be considered to be low grade energy sources okay now if you talk about the bulk of the high grade energy in the form of mechanical work or electrical energy okay they are obtained from sources of low grade energy for example fuels so if you have let us say you know you have a vapor power cycle in which you have a boiler 
then from boiler the steam goes into a turbine okay and then from turbine it goes to a condenser isn't it and then to a pump and then it pumps it back to the boiler so this is a cyclic heat engine now the mechanical work that we are getting is from turbine so this is the source of shaft work isn't it so shaft work is basically a high grade energy source isn't it but from where we are getting it we are getting it by burning fossil fuels inside the boiler so you put in heat in this boiler you burn fossil fuels you produce combustion in the furnace of the boiler which boils the water converts it into steam and that steam expands in this turbine to convert or to get or to produce shaft work okay so this is you know what i want to say is that uh, most of the high grade energies are converted from low grade energies okay and we all know that the complete conversion of low grade into high grade that is impossible by the limitations imposed by the second law of thermodynamics okay so whatever part of low grade energy so i'll use this word now i'll use the word part part of the low grade energy so whatever part of low grade energy okay that is i can say available for the conversion is referred to as available energy now if i have to simplify this let us say you put in 100 joules of heat energy into this boiler now you would not get 100 joules of shaft work you would get somewhere about let us say 60 joules only so 40% is gone waste isn't it so only 60% of this 100 joules were available for conversion from from low grade to high grade so the you know the, the, this this uh, this part of the energy which was you know given in the form of heat which gets converted into a high grade source of energy is called the available energy okay so you can say part of low grade energy which gets converted which gets converted into high grade energy this is known as available energy so this is a very very important concept available energy now the importance of this we'll come to know when we talk about uh, the efficiencies in a matter of time okay so available energy is that part of low grade energy that can be converted into a high grade energy and whatever energy or whatever part of the energy of low grade source which is rejected or which is not available so for in the, for example in this particular case 40 joules were wasted now the the cause and the means of wastage we are not going to get into that okay Uh, let us say the the wastage of heat is maybe due to radiation or maybe due to inefficient combustion okay so the, the these 40 joules you can say they are wasted they are not used to convert the you know to convert equal amount of shaft work so this is a wastage isn't it so whatever wastage is there of the energy which is not converted is called unavailable energy okay so part again this part is of lge so part of lge which is not converted which is not converted now in place of not converted i can use wasted as well i can use reje uh, rejected as well okay now this is called unavailable energy un available energy okay now i will abbreviate available energy as ae okay so this is something uh, that is quite easy to remember and to you know uh, designate 
right so this was a brief introduction on what available energy is that is if you summarize the whole video you should appreciate that the complete conversion of low high grade to low grade energy is possible and it is exempted from the second law of limitation but the complete conversion of low grade into high grade is not completely possible and it is subjected to the second law limitations okay then if you want to understand the concept of available and unavailable energy you can take the case of a cyclic heat engine and this is a cyclic power plant or a cyclic heat engine okay now in this we say that most of the high grade energy sources are created or obtained from sources which are low grade for example fuels okay so in this case this heat that is being provided to this boiler to create steam okay so this is the low grade energy and what you get from turbine that is the shaft work is a high grade energy so the part of lge which is converted into the hge is called available energy and the part of lge which is wasted or rejected or not converted is called unavailable energy okay so i hope you understood this basic understanding and this basic introduction to the concept of available energy now let's go to the next video and talk about available energy for a cycle